I've located the rubble that's blocking the path to red. Now I need to come up with a solution to remove the rubble. That's why we have these. Okay. Um, I just gotta figure out. There's probably like some notes around here telling me what I need to do with these chemicals. I mean, it would make sense, you know. It would make sense. So, red or somebody has uh, made this beautiful path for me. So, I appreciate it. Why would I want to get to red anyway? He, he sounds like a nut, to be fair. He sounds like a damn nut. Why would I want to go to him? I, I, I actually, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't want to hang out with him. I don't want to sit there and eat rats with him for all eternity. Nah, I want to get out of here. And I don't think Red has the same motives or thing in mind. Um, so, yeah. Ah, this room should serve me well as a potion mixture, with the explosive book being my guide. Alright, we already have the thing on us. Okay, fantastic. Sometimes I just can't read. I sound like I'm eating something while I'm reading. It's so weird. Uh, okay. Explosives book, here we go. A big book of explosives, the 1923 edition. This is incredibly out of date. You know, everything before our time is in extremely fucked up and experimental, so I, I wouldn't want to use this book as a guidance for making sh you know? Alright, Black Match Fuse. We've got that. Um, so we got to make some explosives here. Quite obviously, we already have something here. Um, let's see here, that's for saving. I want to save the game, please. There we go, thank you. Thank you. They're me. I'm inside that box. I'm inside and outside of it. It's so deep. It's so goddamn deep. Oh, what is this? Fuse. Ah. So we are going to make explosives. Okay, you know. That's great and all. But right now, we just got to figure out where in the book uh, we have that. Okay. So, Armstrong's mixture. Um, let's see here. Uh, red phosphorus. Okay. TNT was first discovered in 1863. That's not a thing. Okay. Invented by Alfred Noble in 1866, dynamite is commonly used in construction, mining, and demolition. Materials required. One part diatomaceous earth, three part nitroglycerin, small amount of sodium carbonate, and then simply form into short sticks and wrap it in paper. That's all we got. That's all we got. All right. Um, let's see here. We have a... Don't we? We have something here, don't we? Right. I'll need a gas supply before I can light the burner and a breaker and a beaker to mix the chemicals in. Okay. That must be around here. Right? Yes. Right there. Give me that. Glass container. Just put that right there. Nope. What? There we go. That's better. And then we have a lighter... There's no gas running in the burner. That's fine. That's fine. We can, uh... We can just do that. Then we do this. Good. We got sh going. We got sh cooking. This is just like an amnesia. You have to do a thing exactly like this. And I'm mixing this one with... I don't know. Okay. <laughs> uh, my guide should be the book. P and B. I mean, I don't know. I'd, <laughs> there's nothing like that that really screams at me like this is it. Red, R and B. Do we have something called R and B? We have B, and we have D. Well, I mean, what do these stand for? I don't get it. Poof. Poof. Okay, B. How much do I have of this? I have so much. To make a mix makeshift chemical bomb, if I had the right chemicals. Well, I do. I have D, and I have F. Okay. Ah, that's it. So long as I'm careful when I move it, I should stay stable. It should stay stable. Okay. Um. That's fine. Uh. Maybe I should have opened the door before fucking around with this. You sit there, my friend. 
while I make it ready on here. Okay, that's not the right place. Um, or actually it is. I just need to get over all this stuff. Okay, so if I'm just a little careful, then I can get over here. Because now I've, I've made... I've made the bomb, haven't I? That's kind of fucked. So now I've made this. This would possibly explode the rubble. And make my... I, then I can make my way over to red, right? Okay. Can I jump with this? Or... Do I just... Uh. Okay, I'm just, uh... I don't have to be that careful with it. All I have to do is just jo drop it, and then the whole fucking world explodes. Okay, so we put it right there. And then I have the fuse. Boom. Cr no, that is correct. That is correct. Why is it that I have a fuse and I can't work it? I don't get why it won't accept the fuse. No, not quite. It is right. What the fuck? Come on, game. You, you, you have to help me here. You have to help me. All right. Come on. Bombs away. Shit. There we go. Hello. It's your boy. I made it. I made it. I've come to rescue you, Red. Even though I, I, I really don't want to spend time with you. Let's, let's be fair. I don't, I don't really want to. You are crazy enough as is, and you're probably carrying around that worm. I don't know. I have a slight suspicion that you're carrying that worm with you. Okay. Yeah, so I, I just, I just don't, I don't like that. What is up with this frame rate, though? Good evening. Oh, here you are. You actually came. There is much that should leave my thought box now, but words elude me. You came, you are so pretty, but I have been bad. The underworld already beckoned okay. me, so I suppose one further misdemeanor will change with you. It is false pretension and not guiding light with which I have led you here. I cannot give you the answers you want. Of course not. You may wish to find what it is you seek, but that is a fiction. You cannot know what it is you sought through the vast leaden doorway, or else you would seek anything else in the world. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, that's fine. He stays with me in here, so the life that has led me, horrible as it may be, is better still than the life that waits for you, hungry behind those doors. Hmm. As replacements go, you shall be admirably abnormal. No, but fuck you. You must wonder why this metal burning chamber is talking to you in a voice you knew only as red. For it is I, your companion, residing within. I kind of, you, see, you know, I thought that we were never going to meet anyway. So many years. They won't let me die. They, and parts of my head, are not my own. And I cannot take my life. It is against the rules. Please, the pain has gone on for so long. All I wanted was a friend. But now, the time for chit chat and marshmallows by the fire has ended. And I hope that soon, uh, so shall my life. I have knocked on the death's door for so long. Please, let him invite me in for tea. You know, um, I'm not all about this dying business. Can I, uh... I guess... No, 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 can I just turn it off? It must be running the last set sequence. It won't turn off! No! I guess... I guess there's nothing else to do, but... But sit there and, uh... And watch him die. That's not cool, man. It's not cool. Vicious looking things. Almost like meat hooks. Red, I'm so sorry. Whatever happened to you down here, it's over now. Can I at least turn it off now? That would be a very cliche thing to, to be able to do. Like after a, a huge scripted event has happened, then now I can open the door, you know? Combustion meters, a measuring temperature, humidity, and gas flow, among others. Oh, this shit opens. Holy shit, there's a key. Holy shit, ashes. All that remains of my only friend down here. Holy shit, that was fast. My boy got obliterated. Holy fuck. Okay, I didn't know that thing opened. It's just, I could have helped him. I could have helped him get out of there. But I guess he must have been so fucked up in the head that it, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. 
All right, well, Red, uh, it was nice talking to you, but um, I guess you don't have to eat rats or be crazy anymore for breakfast. All right, well, uh, we uh, we helped somebody in some way. Uh, not too happy about it, having to kill somebody, but uh, yeah, I can't get a hold of it. I need something to lever it open. <laughs> That's why we got this. It's okay. It's hydraulically sealed. It just won't pry open. Maybe if I cut the power. Maybe I cut the power, then it will get off. Then it will get open. I don't know. Maybe. That will make sense. This this is better. Okay. Reams of books. Where did Red scavenge all these from? There's everything from survival manuals to the collected works of Shakespeare and Kant's ethics. If this was how he spent his time, no wonder he spoke so strangely. He must have led a lifetime of misunderstanding. So this is where he lived, huh? Oh. Leaving out how Red managed to catch and kill this thing, it's quite clearly inedible. Poor guy must have been close to starving to death. Ew. What the fuck? Red, uh... Poor Red, I'm so sorry. You're at peace now. Let me die. Heap... Heap is hurting. Please. Head is hurting, please. Get out of my head. Death. Red is dead. Nobody talk to. Get out. Get out. Cool. I can see Red now, sitting here and guiding me. I probably wouldn't be standing here now if it wasn't for him. Why did he have to leave me down here alone? Yeah, why did he kill himself, bruh? But whatever. Here we have some text. My dearest friend, how are you? I am as well as can be expected. I have some bad news, though. A few days ago there was some kind of collapse, and some of the ceiling of the cave fell in on me. What scares me is that I was in an off-limits part of the mine. They may not look for me here, but if they do, and they find me, I'll be in so much trouble. But I don't think I'll have to worry about that, because I'm not sure I'll be getting out of here. I don't mind so much. I've been working in the mine for about three weeks now, and I'm really proud that I can send money home. But it's pretty tough work, and so far, you're the only person that's really been nice to me. Plus, I have some nice company down here. There's some friendly kind of creepy crawlies and some books I borrowed from home that I was taking to the rec room. If you think about it, it was really quite lucky. I was really quite lucky I had all this stuff with me. Otherwise, I'd be bored stiff. As it is, I have Shakespeare, Bronte, Nietzsche. Perfect bedtime reading. Although I suppose I might be trapped here long enough that I have to read them twice. I always uh, used to ask my mum how long people survive without food and things. I read how some people can survive underwater for over five minutes, and some people last in the desert for weeks. But she always said you had three minutes of air, three days of water, etc. I suppose I'll probably find out soon enough. I guess if I had to, I could find food around the place. Like I said, there's all sorts of creatures here, but they're better off as my friends than my lunch. I wonder whether I should starve to death or go cave crazy first? Neither sounds too much fun, I guess. But if I had to choose... I'd say I'd want to go mad. Sounds like an adventure. Tom Redwood. December 1970. So that was Red, age 14. 14? Okay. So that was... I, I'm assuming that's Red. Um, okay. So now Red's dead. The chains on his arms are visible now. Not there out of choice. His father looks on aghast. He clutches some notes, shaking hands. He knows. He knows what has come. He knows what the man has released. The only one who could stop it. Howard knows real fear. Oh, oh wow, and we're back. Oh, shit. It's like there's a carbon copy of me inside that artifact. Except that there's no more than one. And they're not very good copies. Yeah, no, the only one good person is me. The only good person is me. I'm the good copy, okay? I am the best copy. Oh, hello. How many hours did he spend with his neck in this noose? Just trying to end it all. God damn. What the f- That's a lady with a giant mouth. Beauty parade. And a giant eye. Jesus. From the stench, it must have been his toilet. I- Ugh. God. Fuck. Now yeah, let's get out of this room. This room is no good. Oh, wait. What? What? Hello? It's an electrical panel. Funny place to have one. 
Well, we can open the shit, can't we? Or we can cut the power? Wait a minute. We can screw this open. There we go. We can do that. Here we go. Alright, electrics may be running out to the door. <sighs> Not too keen on uh, cutting power here, because then it will be dark as fuck. But, okay. I guess... I guess it didn't turn off all the power, only to the door. As was hinted at. So, here we go. Now we can open, right? Now we can open this thing. I need something to lever it open. There we go. Holy shit, that's a lot of text. As I stepped into the mouth of the underground facility, there should have been questions, fears, doubts running through me. Instead, I was torn in two. Parts of me, I felt, had died, along with my only ally and friend. His final words had raised more questions than they had answered, and I couldn't get his screams for help out of my head, despite knowing deep down that the pain I had caused Red was, itself, all the help I could have offered him. I was alone again, but I had nothing to do, other than to press him on into the unknown. If I had felt so bad about Red, I should have listened to him and stayed where I was. I would have traded his fate a hundred times for my own. The other side of me was looking forward to what might await me in my continued journey. I felt sure that I would soon find some clue or other to my father's fate, and that he was inextricably linked to everything that was happening. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I had set up until that point was just symptomatic of whatever lay beyond the tre threshold. I know now, I was right. <gasps> oh, exit. That's not... I don't want to go that way. That's not a good exit. Welcome to the shelter, established in 73, elevated case 4, chief staff 6, lower case 39, temporary 8, population 57. Key members, please have your own identity documents ready. I don't have ID on me. I'm sorry. But that's just not happening. Okay, can I open this? It's just a power thing, again. Okay. So nothing here of note, nothing here of note. I'm gonna leave, okay? I'm just gonna leave. Ah, hello. Oh, are you for real? Are you for real? Nah. Nah, my fucking flashlight doesn't work. Nah, are you- No, you're not gonna do this to me. No, you're not gonna do this to me. No, 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 no. Oh, f oh, f that's not Red's ghost. He's not. He's not gonna kill me. Can I? I can't. I can't escape. I have to go. I have to go. Oh. Sh okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go. F no. Okay. Oh shit! What was that? With that, the man who had first descended into the mine was no more, and so began my next chapter. <laughs> to be continued. Is that how it ends? What? What the fuck? No. Are you for real? What a way of selling it. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Well, uh, I mean, we are gonna play the next game, so, uh, I, I have the whole package. Jesus Christ. Okay, that was one way of setting it up. Fine. Fine. I get you. I get you. That was good. That was actually really good. So, uh, I guess that only begs the question. What's gonna happen next time? I guess uh, you're gonna have to f subscribe to know more. But uh, then again, this game is over 10 years old, so yeah. <laughs> Mike Hillard, I've seen that name before. He's done a lot of Half-Life stuff, right? Yeah, Mike Hillard. Uh, but anyway, if you enjoyed that, leave a like and subscribe. There's definitely gonna be more Penumbra coming your way and more Amnesia and all that kind of stuff. We're doing this frictional games kind of marathon. So, uh, if you're on the boat for that, then, um, yeah. 
subscribe, like, and uh, tell me what I can do better for the next episode. And uh, until next time, see ya. And uh, have a good one. All right? Bye-bye. For more information on the next episode, pin number overture.com. All right, everybody, go to that website if you want to know more. Perfect. Amazing. All right. Bye-bye. Exit. Yes.